The Faraday's Law Simulation is an interactive educational tool designed to help students understand the principles of electromagnetic induction, specifically how, how a changing magnetic flux can produce a flow of electricity. This simulation allows students to investigate the relationship between magnetic flux, coil turns, and the speed of the magnet, and observe how these factors affect the brightness of a bulb. By providing a hands-on and visual approach, the simulation enhances students' understanding of Faraday's law of induction. The simulation allows students to observe how changes in magnetic flux induce an electric current. Magnetic flux is the product of the magnetic field strength and the area of the coil perpendicular to the field. Students can adjust the number of turns in the coil. The number of turns affects the induced EMF, as a higher number of turns increases the induced voltage. The speed at which the magnet moves through the coil can be varied. The rate of change of magnetic flux is directly proportional to the speed of the magnet, affecting the induced EMF and, consequently, the brightness of the bulb. The brightness of the bulb serves as a visual indicator of the induced EMF. A brighter bulb indicates a higher induced voltage, while a dimmer bulb indicates a lower induced voltage. The Faraday's Law simulation provides a hands-on approach to exploring the principles of electromagnetic induction. By adjusting the number of coil turns and the speed of the magnet, students can observe the following key concepts. When the number of turns in the coil is reduced by half, but the speed of the magnet remains the same, the brightness of the bulb decreases. This is because the induced EMF is directly proportional to the number of turns in the coil. Reducing the number of turns by half reduces the induced EMF by half, resulting in a dimmer bulb. The speed of the magnet affects the rate of change of magnetic flux. A faster moving magnet increases the rate of change of magnetic flux, resulting in a higher induced EMF. Consequently, the bulb becomes brighter. Conversely, a slower moving magnet decreases the rate of change of magnetic flux, resulting in a lower induced EMF and a dimmer bulb. The simulation visually represents the induced EMF through the brightness of the bulb. This visual representation helps students understand the relationship between the rate of change of magnetic flux and the induced EMF. When the magnetic flux changes rapidly, the induced EMF is higher and the bulb is brighter. When the magnetic flux changes slowly, the induced EMF is lower and the bulb is dimmer. The simulation provides an interactive and engaging way to learn about electromagnetic induction. Students can actively participate in the learning process by adjusting the number of coil turns and the speed of the magnet and observing the effects on the brightness of the bulb. Electromagnetic induction can be a challenging concept to understand. The simulation provides a visual and tangible representation of these abstract concepts, making them more accessible and understandable. Students can experiment with different numbers of coil turns and magnet speeds and observe the resulting changes in the brightness of the bulb. This exploratory approach encourages critical thinking and problem-solving skills. The simulation provides a practical application of Faraday's law of induction which is a fundamental principle in many real-world technologies, such as electric generators, transformers, and induction motors. This helps students see the relevance of these concepts in everyday life. The simulation introduces students to the process of data collection and analysis. By observing the brightness of the bulb and recording the changes in induced EMF, students can collect data and analyze the relationship between the number of coil turns, magnet speed, and induced EMF. To implement the Faraday's Law simulation in the classroom, teachers can follow these steps. Begin with a brief introduction to the concept of electromagnetic induction and Faraday's Law of Induction. Provide examples to illustrate these concepts and explain how the simulation will help students understand them. Demonstrate the simulation to the class, showing how to adjust the number of coil turns and the speed of the magnet and observe the brightness of the bulb. Explain the importance of observing the changes in the brightness of the bulb and how it relates to the principles of electromagnetic induction. Allow students to explore the simulation in small groups or individually. Encourage them to experiment with different numbers of coil turns and magnet speeds and record their observations. Provide worksheets or prompts to guide their exploration and data collection. 
Data analysis. After collecting data, have students analyze the relationship between the number of coil turns, magnet speed, and induced EMF. They can use the formula for Faraday's law of induction to calculate the induced EMF and compare their calculations with the brightness of the bulb in the simulation. Facilitate a class discussion to share and compare findings. Encourage students to reflect on what they have learned about electromagnetic induction and its implications. Ask them to consider how these concepts apply to other areas of science and everyday life. The Faraday's Law simulation is a valuable educational tool that brings the principles of electromagnetic induction to life through an interactive and engaging context. By allowing students to investigate how a changing magnetic flux can produce a flow of electricity, the simulation provides a hands-on learning experience that enhances understanding of this fundamental concept. This interactive approach not only makes learning more enjoyable, but also fosters critical thinking, problem 